We're going to see now how to smooth images. Smoothing images is the most important part of image processing. And this method uh, gives us the chance to remove the noise from an image. For example, let's take this image, a really old one from 1800. And you see, there are a lot of small dots. The quality is really low as it's really old picture. So smoothing the image, we can improve this one as well. We can have, for example, another image. This one, if you are familiar with old analogical TV, then you've seen for sure this kind of image when there was a bad signal. Or let's take, for example, something else. We can take, for example, an apple. This is a good quality image and we can smooth the image so to we can blur it. For example, if we don't need to have of the image all the details, but we it's important just for us to see a shape of an apple. Oh, let's start to type. So import CV2, import CV2, import numpy as mp. Let's load the first image, uh, cv2.imread early underscore 1800 dot jpg and you can download this and the next image that I'm going to show you from the links in the description then let's show this image cv2 dot im show early 1800 uh, actually let's just say image uh, original image and then emg then cv2 dot wait key zero cv2 dot destroy all windows here we have the image now we have four different type of filters let's see the first one first one it's called averaging averaging filter it's equals to cv2 dot blur then we want to blur the image and we need to define a kernel size let's say 5 and 5 so what does the averaging filter does it takes a small area called kernel we define a set of 5 by 5 so small area of 5 pixel of width and 5 of height so it will be all of the 25 pixel it sums the value of this pixel and then take the mean value of this pixel and use that it uses that one so it's uh, average so from averaging uh, the name of the filter is the average uh, value of a certain area so let's show now this filter cv2.im show averaging then averaging and you can see original image and filter image and you can see a big improvement in this image regarding to noise removal let's now see the second one which is gaussian filter so gaussian equals to cv2 dot gaussian blur uh, again image and even in this case kernel size and then we have another extra value called sigma we're not going to see sigma in this video it's more advanced for now it's enough to use just the kernel again we're going to take the same area 5 
by 5 and let's see the difference cp2 dot im show gaussian then gaussian and let's run the code so we have original image gaussian filter okay let's cover the original gaussian and averaging as you can see the gaussian keeps more details of the image similar to the averaging method we are going to take a kernel in this case of uh, five pixels so like the previous one five by five while in the average method the kernel so it was the mean of that area in the gaussian it's not exactly the mean because the pixel farther from the center have less importance on less weight to, to contribute to that value if if I hope it's clear so Gaussian is similar but again it's not exactly the average pixel farther are from the center point uh, are less important then let's see the other one median filter median equals to cv2 dot median blur image and kernel size in this case uh, if i'm not wrong we we just uh, okay let's see five and five again let's see if it's correct exactly no, it's not correct kernel size in this case you need just to put an integer let's say five and let's show the median cv2 dot median uh sorry cv2 dot im show median and median median in this case looks similar to averaging but let's see when it's best to apply the median filter. Median filter works really well when we have a really noisy image. So now let's change the image. We're uh, let's load another one called balloons noisy dot png. Let's actually right now not show the medium filter. Let's show just the image. Okay, we have the original image, really noisy. We have the Gaussian filter, which solves some problems, so it's less noisy. The average, the averaging one, and actually, as you can see, Gaussian and averaging are not good filters for. For this image and then let's now show only the median filter so I comment this one averaging in Gaussian oh and now you see what magic does the median filter starting from this image the median filter is going to give you this image of course it's not always this case it's not like that you get a really terrible image and then you have this magic image but in some in some case it works really well and finally we have the bilateral filter so bilateral is equals to cv2 dot bilateral filter we have uh, okay the value we have need to put emg the diameter size let's say five and sigma this filter has the specific purpose of keeping the edges of an image and now, now let's just give this 75 and 75 of value and let's see on a new image 
I'm going to take this image called carpet.jpg carpet.jpg and let's show the image original image and then we have filters especially now we're interested in the Gaussian and averaging filter and you can see that you, you can remove the noise of the carpet but at the same time it's blurring the text and the shapes so for example if we have even a bigger filter so big and kernel area so 21 and 21 you're going to see it's clearing it's blurring properly the color but then you cannot almost read the text and here you cannot read it at all so that's the purpose of bilateral filter to keep the edges and let's show cv2.in show bilateral and then bilateral actually let's just show for the moment the original image and the bilateral one and let's increase these values we can do actually even more to 50 to 50 so what's the result the result is the bilateral is blurring properly the colors here but then at the same time it's keeping the edge as you see the text is exactly the same as the original image as well for the uh, shape so this drawing and this circle so the more you increase this number the more you are going to have uh, let's say a cartoonish effect let's see this on another image let's take this image called lake.jpg let's uh, right now increase all the values let's take a bigger kernel so 9 and let's put this higher and this is what bilateral filter gives you this cartoonish effect this is all for this video we will see slowly in, in during next part of the tutorial when it's best to use the filters and more in details how the filter works thanks for watching